Hi kids, today we're talking about recorder technique, especially the basics, okay? So if you're in your very first day, very first week of playing this instrument, um, these are the tips that should make it a lot easier for you. All right, now first thing we want to talk about is how to hold the recorder. So um, it's kind of standard practice for your left hand to be on top. Uh, that's, that's this one, right? The one on this side, because I know it changes when I'm facing you. All right, so with your left hand on top, uh, today we'll use the note G. Um, yeah. This is, uh, this is the one we'll kind of start with here. G uh, uses your thumb, first, second, and third fingers. Okay, so uh, on my instrument, I mean my left thumb, first, second, and third fingers. Okay, your right hand is gonna be just a, a place for the recorder to rest, all right? It's not covering up a hole or anything, it's kind of like a stand. Um, I'll put it on my chin right now as I'm explaining it. So I've basically got thumb, one, two, three for the note G, and my other fingers are up top, ready to be used, should I ever need them. By the way, did you know you never use the pinky on your left hand? Huh, more you know, how about that? Okay, so thumb, one, two, three. Now you wanna press down kind of firmly. Now don't crush the recorder. But you want, if you're doing it right, you want to get these little, little circles. You see that on there? Little circles on your fingers. Don't worry, they go away, okay? Don't want any emails from parents asking about those circles on their kids' fingers. Yeah, they'll go away, don't you worry. Okay, thumb, one, two, three. We're going to cover those holes completely. Don't use the tips of your fingers. Look what happens when I use the tips. See that? Mm, not good, not good at all air is going to escape through those gaps and cause a squeak. So we don't want that. Instead, we want to cover them with kind of the fingerprint part of your finger. This, this area, not the tip, okay? So your fingers are kind of flat and that's going to really seal off those holes so that no air escapes. Okay, next thing. Uh, make sure that you're not holding your recorder up like this or down like this or out like this. No, 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 no. You want to hold it like this, kind of a 45 degree angle. See how I'm doing that? All right, good, 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 good. So we're holding the instrument correctly. Now let's talk about how to blow correctly into the recorder. Here's the thing. A lot of kids blow way too hard, and I mean way too hard. Uh, especially on the first day. They get their recorder, they're so excited, and they go, <gasps> oh, oh, man, I'm telling you. I've done it long enough, kids. It happens all the time. Don't feel bad about it, but you can't blow into a recorder like that. You'll get a squeak, all right? If you're blowing it like you're blowing out the candles on your birthday cake, that's way too hard. Instead, blow as though you're trying to fog up a window. Slow, warm, gentle air, like this. So you don't even hear it, right? Because it's, it's soft, it's gentle, so that when you blow into it, it's... That's a good sound! That's good! So really, squeaks only happen for two reasons. Either you're not covering the holes, or you're blowing way too hard. So, uh, let's get nice, loose, and relaxed. You got that G going. Got your other fingers ready for whenever we need them, but for now, they're just up top. Okay, and we're gonna blow nice and easy. If you get a squeak, ooh, <laughs> if you get that, check and see. Are there any gaps? Oh, that's a problem. And are you blowing too hard? That's a problem too. Next thing I wanna talk about is tonguing. Okay, tonguing is the way that you separate notes on a recorder. For example, here is hot cross buns without tonguing. And here's with tonguing.
Do you see how there's just a little bit of space between each of the notes? Okay, the reason for that is because in my head, I'm thinking the word do. Yeah, say that with me, do. You see how your tongue kind of hits the top of your teeth right in the back there? Do, when you say that, do, yeah. <laughs> well, what happens is when you're playing the recorder, if, if your tongue presses up against the top of your teeth like that and you say do, it's gonna add just a little pause in between your notes. And it's the difference between this and this. See how much more clear it is when you use tonguing? Great. So to review, when you're playing recorder, put your left hand on top, all right? Cover the holes nicely with firm pressure, not too hard, don't hurt yourself, okay? You're gonna cover the holes completely using the flat parts of your fingers, okay, like this, and you are going to blow into the instrument gently, okay? With slow, warm air. Great. Good luck, kids. You're gonna do fine. You're gonna have to practice hard and not give up, but I believe in you. You got this. Thanks, everybody. We'll talk to you again next time. Bye.